everyone, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com, and I'm really excited today to introduce to you a completely new pen company, pen model, lots of new things happening in this video. So this is Monty Winfield, and Monty Winfield is a pen brand that really only came onto the scene in about 2018. Uh, it's founded by Jeremiah Hackett, and he is based out of Colorado. So these are completely American-made pens. And he's got a lot of experience uh, in the automotive and custom jewelry world. So even though he's new to the pen world, he brings a ton of design and engineering experience to these pens. Uh, I started talking with him in early 2019, and we've been talking quite a bit about these pens really kind of co-designing it together to bring to you his first model that he has for the retail market, which is the High Water. Now the High Water is named after basically a flood that happened in his town in Colorado in 1921 and the historical building where his factory is located was under about 10 or 12 feet of water. So he thought that this was kind of an interesting homage to give really back to his local town. So here is the High Water, Monty Winfield's first pen. So there's three different colors of the high water. I'm going to talk about these first two because they are of the same material. Uh, one is called amethyst, and this one is called sky blue topaz. And these are both made of a material called alumalite. So this is a resin that uh, is slightly different from the typical acrylic acetate you might see other pens made out of. It's a more durable material. It's a little more difficult to work with and a little harder to polish, but the final product ends up with a more durable, more scratch resistant, resin than you might see typically on most pens. And this is actually a custom mixture that Jeremiah is making up just specifically for Monty Winfield. So it's not something you're likely to see uh, elsewhere from other pen companies. And the high pearlescence in there is gonna look a little bit different on each pen. So each one will be a bit unique. Now the third pen needs a little bit of explanation because some of these materials are things that you just don't see elsewhere. This is where Jeremiah is bringing some of his uh, other backgrounds into the pen world, which is really exciting to see. So the body of the pen is made out of a linen. So you may have seen other pens made out of a similar material called micarta. Uh, this is kind of similar to that, except he puts a high gloss on it. So you're feeling the gloss, but it's got that linen look to it, which is going to be great because it's not going to stain like linen normally might. And the cap is a hand wound carbon fiber, which kind of looks, instead of like a carbon fiber weave like you would typically see maybe on pens, uh, it almost looks like a wound up spindle of carbon fiber thread on the cap. It's got a very interesting look, like a spool of carbon fiber has just been wound around the cap. So one of the more outstanding features of the pen is actually the clip. So this is a clip that Jeremiah designed himself. And one of the technical challenges of this is he wanted all the trim to be titanium. So the whole pen has titanium trim, including the clip. And he calls it his waterfall clip because it's actually held at the top and then it kind of bends around and comes down with a ball on the end. Titanium is an extremely strong material, uh, but to get the tension right, he had to be very intentional about the way he designed it. So you're not gonna see a clip exactly like this on any other pen, and it's definitely something that uh, he's particularly proud of. So the logoing and branding is minimal on this pen, but the one place where you will find it is engraved very subtly in the block print on the center band. So it's a great pen for capping and uncapping. It's about three quarters of a rotation to take it off. Uh, and it posts onto the back too. The pen's a bit long when you post it, but nice and secure on there. And he designed it so that uh, the material is not going to get scratched when you post it onto the back. So he was thoughtful about that. It's very comfortable to hold, a little bit front weighted because it's got the metal section in the front there. Um, but even if you post it, because there's not a whole lot of metal in the cap, it's mostly resin. And titanium is a pretty light material anyway, and there's not a whole ton of it. Uh, even if you post it, it's not heavily back weighted. It might just shift the weight a tiny, tiny bit. So it's really a matter of personal preference how you want to use it, but uh, it's comfortable either way for me. So the weight of the pens is going to be actually slightly different depending on the material. The resin versions are about 28 grams and the linen and carbon version is about 30 grams. And that puts it in the range of maybe a Pelican M600 or 800 or a Pilot Custom 823. So it's in good company with some really solid daily writing pens. So one of the things I love about this pen is the grip. It's a very unique grip. And this is where Jeremiah's background can bring kind of a new twist into the pen world. So he really wanted to have all titanium trim on this pen, which includes the grip. 
And sometimes with metal grips, they can be a little bit slippery uh, and just look kind of plain, but he came up with this like cross hatched brush pattern in the titanium, which just looks really cool. I've never seen anybody else do this before. Uh, so part of it's aesthetic, but also part of it too is very functional because it gives just enough texture to the grip to where it gives you really solid feel in the hand. It's not gonna slip around like a slick metal grip would, um, but it's also not so much texture that it kind of like makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. It's extremely comfortable. The diameter of the grip's about nine millimeters, so I think it's gonna be comfortable for people with pretty much all size hands. And the grip is nice and long, so even though the threads, you know, might be just a tad sharp if your finger has to rest on it, uh, it's long enough where your fingers probably aren't gonna be back that far. The filling mechanism on this pen, it's gonna be very familiar to a lot of you. It is a standard international cartridge converter. The converter is included with the pen. Uh, and this can actually accommodate both a short and a long uh, standard international cartridge if you happen to be into those. Uh, and one of the cool things about this pen, even though it has metal trim, it is actually eyedropper convertible, at least on the two Alumalite versions. Not so much on the linen and carbon version because if you eyedropper this, the linen on the inside will actually absorb the ink and that wouldn't be particularly great for it. But on the resin versions, you can eyedrop or convert them. So if you're using it as a converter pen, your ink capacity is gonna be 1.22 milliliters. A cartridge is gonna be 1.76 and the eyedropper is gonna be about four milliliters. So however you like to do it, you're gonna be able to get plenty of ink in to write with this pen. So the writing experience here might feel fairly familiar because it's got a number six stainless steel Yovo nib, which is great because that's some of the best writing experience that you can have. It comes an extra fine, fine medium, broad, and a 1.1 millimeter stub, and a nice little touch that Jeremiah does. He engraves his own uh, little MW into the surface of the nib, so differentiates Monty Winfields just a little bit. The nibs are gonna be smooth with a hint of feedback. Uh, the flow is gonna be nice and consistent. It's an amazing daily writer, and it can really handle pretty much whatever ink that you choose to put into it. So there you go, that is our introduction to the Monty Winfield High Water. I'm really excited about these pens. I think Jeremiah has been extremely thoughtful in how he's done this, and I will say his fit and finish and attention to detail is truly superb. So I'm excited to see him introduce these and uh, maybe get further into the pen world over time. So if you like these pens and you're interested in them, the Alumalite versions are going to be 325 and the linen and carbon is 375. And you can pick them up exclusively at gouletpens.com. If you like this video and you want more like it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and right on.